Hi Aries, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Sorry about the shaking, I'm just getting situated. This is for, as you guys know, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message should be for you, so feel free to take out how it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead. Ooh, wow. Cool that that came out. I just mentioned that in another sign. Um, just go ahead and subscribe to my website, and that way you'll get a email notification whenever the availability opens up. And I will not spam you guys, I promise. I will not send annoying emails, only when it's necessary. Okay. So... Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, for all the ways that you've supported the channel. I appreciate it so much. Whether it's known or not known, or you just view the video, I just appreciate it. All right, we've got the womb. Okay. Like I was saying, I just mentioned this in someone else's reading. Because this sign, like if you guys have seen, for example, Angels and Demons or like the Da Vinci Code, they talk about the chalice, and so I, I know this might sound boring, but I promise it will lead to something. To me, this is kind of like, there's a feminine energy as far as nesting, taking care of. This is, that is totally interesting, because I'm kind of seeing that as a nest in the middle, because there's like a golden egg in there, and... It is very representative. So some of you guys might be pregnant. I'm just going to throw that out there. Or you're highly fertile <laughs> right now. Or if you're feminine, it then this could be kind of like that you're, you're seeing a, something around a cycle. Actually, this could be for males and females. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. There's something about your cycle. Like humans do go through, the males and females. Like I've even heard that men go through kind of like a menstrual. Obviously they don't let go of anything, but they go through their own version of it. That's very natural as humans, but there's something about the, the process of release that comes in through that and the intensity that's behind it. There's something about like kind of, um, However, this is playing out. For some of you, this is not going to be for all of you, so I apologize, but I have to say it. If you have very intense times around, like, your cycle, for example, not to turn this so weird and graphic, but if you have, like, m more pain, if you have cramps, or if you have, like, m high, high emotions or things like that, there's two things that could be contributing to that. Like, first of all, this feels a little bit, like, gut stuff, like um, maybe some type of sensitivity to a food that you're eating that could be causing like an over emotional reaction or some pain. Also, I'm hearing possibly like candida or parasites. Just throwing that out there because I have to, but here's what I'm going to talk about, the other side of this. You have the poet. Um, this is really, what do I want to say about this? Because I almost feel like this is someone either in your reality or someone that you've dealt with. You were possibly Aries dealing with someone very kind of like, yeah, maybe they were very poetic, but I'm also hearing that they kind of talked in riddles that they, um, you kind of freed yourself from this situation, it feels like, because you see all the birds. It's kind of like you went deep into some type of entanglement and connection with another person. And it really, it's like you got so consumed by the dark that it made you search for your light. And maybe that's even in like what you're going through right now. This doesn't even have to be completely directed to a person. This could be collectively what you're going through, that you're watching the collective go through this and that vibrationally we're trying to free ourselves. So it's kind of like this light that you find within is what's going to give you enough of a boost. Oh shiz, you know what I'm seeing? I really love the movie Inside Out. If you guys have seen it, seriously watch it. It is the freaking cutest movie in the world. It like totally combines my love of Disney and <laughs> science. Like I freaking love it and neuroscience. So um 
there's this part in there where joy, joy is the emotion, and she's been lost. She's like lost down in the subconscious, you know, where everything becomes forgotten. She and Bing Bong are down there, and they get this last little, like, leg of energy to, they keep trying to get to a cliff. They keep trying to, like, get up to this cliff, and it's so high above, and they keep running out of energy. And then finally, like, Bing Bong jumps out of the, the little, like, the little rocket so that Joy can get back. So she can bring the Joy back into Riley's life. And it's the freaking cutest movie, but I was like, you know, in a weird way, in the 5D, that's what a lot of relationships, as far as catalytic ones, are doing for us. It's almost like you meet a, a maybe a narcissist or a psychopath, whatever it is. And you go really, really deep down into some shadow work, into some negative emotions. And then it gets so dark that you have to find the light. Like you start just like, where is it? Where is it? And you start looking for it. And it's actually this really fascinating progress a process of how you come to the light. You come to your purpose. You come to your path. It's really powerful. And then in a way, it's, it's like kind of sad in a way because joy like you know bing bong disappears and it's almost reflective of what happens in our life is like those relationships kind of fade away because they only come in for that the time the you know what's that saying people come into our lives for a reason a season or a lesson something like that sorry these drops on the ground <laughs> okay so one of the ones that dropped down is the hermit Dude, these cards are totally reflecting exactly what I just said in that whole spiel. It's kind of like, you could be kind of within positivity. Lots of people are getting the sun card. Because I do feel like, in some ways, things are starting to become just a little bit more positive. Like, there's some type of thing that will come in this next week that'll feel a little bit like... Oh, I, f I feel some relief. I feel pretty good. I feel like the next level of it, it's not going to be super extreme because that's why I'm saying like if you guys are deep in this process, the hermit is all about inner guidance, reflection. It's exactly what I was saying. Contemplation. And I feel like that's what you are kind of doing right now, Aries. Like you could be deep in contemplation about a lot of specific things. I feel like also you're looking a lot back at the past. Maybe this is also connected to some type of mother figure in your life. You're looking at like, like maybe you're even coming across someone that you find out they're pregnant or you're finding out that someone gave birth. Um, there's something here though about kind of like someone saw you as a mother or they wanted to mother you. I don't know. I'm getting this weird stuff around it. But you're very, like, there's a lot of deep reflection that you go into about this person. Because there was a very intense shadow moment that happened between the two of you. And you left. And there's, like, almost a desire for positivity either between, like, on your side or the other person's. Let me see. Let me see. Too many. Let's dive in here. Okay, Three of Pentacles, yeah. Some type of collaboration, that could be a coach, something like that coming in. Wow. <sighs> OMG, freaking Aries. Okay, you have the Empress, that is the mother card. That's like self-nurturing. That also could be someone that you are meeting or collaborating with in some way, shape, or form. Maybe getting coaching or therapy, whatever this is with, but yeah, like it's almost like you're going through this restoration of your moment, of your emotions, King of Cups, total emotions, and getting balance in them. The thing I love about the King of Cups, he's got one foot in, which is air element, and one foot in the water, so he's very balanced about his emotions. He doesn't let them overcome him, he's mastered them. He knows how to kind of like 
be logical over his emotions when he needs to. He kind of knows how to put a stop at them and be like, okay, we've dove into the emotions enough here. Let's get in. So that, that could be someone also that's you're like kind of jiving with this week because that Empress card. Wow. No freaking way. Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. All right. Well, it's interesting that we started with the Three of Pentacles. These are positive, though. Let me see what else comes out. But Page of Swords. Okay, now we've got more peeps going on here. Hold on. Let me see. Six of Cups. Okay. I'm going to say the same thing that I've said for all the peeps and th that have been getting the Six of Cups because we're going into Mercury retrograde. Things from the past might resurface. Don't be surprised. Also, lots of interesting stuff can come back. Hoovers <laughs> from people that you've left behind in the past because what did I say about this whole process with the poet? Page of Swords is obviously someone still keeping check with you, like keeping still very curious what you're up to. Like they are very curious, Aries, because also the other side of this, if you're in this hermit mode where you're not really kind of like showing too much, um, it's interesting because I'm almost seeing this other side of the sun as kind of like someone's trying to get into your energy. They want to see, they, they want to connect with you. Like there's one aspect of that, but they also kind of want to penetrate maybe a little bit of a bubble that you have up for them, you know, and it's probably this whole little dealio because these are really interesting. I, this is separate. Okay. That's what I'm getting. This three of pentacles feels more like these are certain people that you might be kind of looking up to that are helping you in your transformation. Maybe this is like someone online. Like to me, if you don't have someone actually physically in your environment, that's here is kind of this showing you the way, giving you some guidance, because Three of Pentacles is like a coach, or it can be a therapist, or someone that you're collaborating with, a trainer, someone like that, that's showing you the ultimate self-care. Like, amazing, very nurturing, very loving. Shiz. If you come across that, you freaking hold on to that, and you entangle with it as long as possible, because it's going to bring such a restoration to your emotions, and I feel like this will also either possibly bring in an actual connection here emotionally. That's very possible. But do not be surprised here if you've got someone on the side who's kind of like trying to trickle some information in, maybe even sending a message that you do have some sort of history with. Because you've got like, I almost feel like the other side, you've got the sun coming in. You know, you've got something positive coming in and whoever you've entangled with they feel the shift they it does not matter people from the past when you alchemize when you shift into a higher vibration it actually kind of elevates other people in a way and then they they take that as kind of like a oh i can come back into aries life that's not always what it means though it just means that you've alchemized so good job but if they're feeling a little bit of upliftment in their energy too, they can kind of mistake that for you guys are meant to be back in each other's lives. You will have to be the one that decides it. Okay. Let's grab the door. Eleven, eleven, Lovely. Your door opening. <laughs> eleven, eleven, Numbers and doubles. Synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, yeah, don't be surprised if you guys have a lot of synchronicities come up, possibly about a particular person, but you might start seeing 11-11 a lot or things like that because it could be kind of like you could be coming into union with yourself, which is like freaking shifting your whole reality around you. It's making you pull into love and all these higher vibrations. Your heart is starting to expand and open up, which don't be surprised if you hear from some peeps here. Okay, Aries. But again, decipher who you want to be in your life at this higher vibration. Be very discerning about that. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys got something useful from this. No extendeds for this week. I promise they will be coming back. 
Um, and yeah, sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.